What's the most important thing for the holding? To get land. The village? They don't care about it. There's no social development here. We don't wait for someone to do something for the village. We do it ourselves. Here we are in our office in the agricultural sector's farming department. This is my desk. This is where my assistant Sergei sits. And here's where our seed specialist sits. Here's the kitchen for our office employees. No matter who visits us here, they're just taken back that the office of an agricultural company looks like this. It's not exactly what people are used to in agriculture. Hello, my name is Vasali, and I'm the head agronomist. I work for a company that proves what a modern agricultural company can look like. The first thing you'll notice here is just how we do things. There's our seed processing plant, warehouses, and dump pit. Let's head to the plant. Here at the plant, we've got to wear helmets. The grain is undergoing its initial cleaning. Then it gets poured into these wooden containers and sent to the warehouse. Every crate with seeds of crops we work with has its own place. The monitoring and management processes are handled in full in the operator's room. A single operator runs this entire place. We have monitoring sensors and cameras at all stages. Right now, kidney beans are being cleaned. We even get folks from other countries coming here. We're currently growing milk thistle for Austrians. It's a medicinal plant. When they first visited, their first reaction was, wow, they said everything was more European here than back at home. When agriculture started collapsing around here, the land started to yield losses, not profits. We had an executive here, an honored agronomist of Ukraine, who started looking for investors to help the land turn a profit again. He got our director to do his part, and now here we are. This half of the trailer was for the accounting department and the agronomists, mechanics, and boss use the other half. This is where it all got started. I've been here since day one, and this is my 17th year we've been working together. These are our neighbors, and those are their farms over there. Of course it is. They're right next to us, so they kind of have to try to keep up. People notice those kind of things. We work on other people's land. They just lease it to us. So it would be wrong not to think about the people who live in the village where we work because at the end of the lease, nothing is stopping them from saying, forget about you, and signing an agreement with someone else. The villagers side with people who provide jobs or help the village community. So we took this land and started getting it back into shape, introducing new technologies, and buying new imported equipment. We also started monitoring each field via satellite and the NDVI. 
We get help from a team who understands how all this works. The team at One Soil. We used to go out in the fields with a spreader and apply the same amount of fertilizer everywhere. And what did that get us? If a field had slopes, the fertilizer just washed away and the plants got nothing. The money we invested just washed away. Now we have a different approach. One soil helped us understand that it was a mistake to apply the same amount of fertilizer everywhere. I think that the future is in precision farming because this year alone, fertilizers, especially nitrogen fertilizers here in Ukraine, tripled in price. So if you just toss it around without thinking, you'll go broke. We have to work to be better than any company abroad. No matter how you look at it, Ukraine is an agricultural country. If every farmer gets more from their land, it will be a win-win for them and the country as a whole. But if you ignore how everything is falling apart around you and only pay attention to what's happening out in the field and just take your profit from selling crops and that's it, you're doing it wrong. You've got to take care of everything around you, like you would at home. All the roads in our village have been repaired with our help. We also built a park in the village and a beautiful fountain. They turned out really nice. But it takes more than just us, our neighbors, or others to make things better in the village, district, and everywhere else. We all need to help. But to a certain degree, I hope the day when the government will make us take care of everything isn't far off. But that's not the case yet. Everyone's still allowed to just do whatever they want. What needs to be done? Exactly what we're doing right here, right now. It's this office, and this land, and this plant. We just need to show the benefits more and broadcast how it brings big results, and even bigger money. After all, it isn't the only way to make money. Villagers here can live, work, and earn decent salaries, even four or five times higher than the local standard. Of course, not everyone can handle the new machinery and new tractors with onboard computers. There are five computers in the operator's cab responsible for various operations. It's this kind of operator that we're lacking right now. I don't get why the younger generation isn't interested in all this. We have to educate and show them what we've got. This high-tech stuff is complicated for someone like me, but it's so much easier for yesterday's students. They're so advanced with IT these days. So it's just a matter of them wanting to work in this industry. If they show a knack for working with the newest technology, they can pull this country out of its crisis. Because Ukraine is an agricultural country. Of course, I'm proud that I'm an agronomist and a farmer. I work on the land. I grow food. It's no secret farmers feed the whole world. 